of revolt against President Fujimori over the weekend. This is BBC News. And a very good morning to you. Monday's wet weather is still not very far away, causing devastation there across the other side of the channel through the northern parts of France into Belgium. Very strong winds indeed coming in through Denmark, the central and southern parts of Scandinavia as well. It looks as though this low pressure is going to be around for quite some time, keeping things very unsettled indeed across the near continent. You also notice we're still keeping a number of isobars quite tightly packed here across the British Isles as well. So blustery conditions, there's still some significant gusts in, coming in across the British Isles, blowing in some showers, if not longer spells of rain, across many of these western parts of the British Isles. The wind really has been a factor. You see the very strongest of the winds now beginning to move in towards Denmark, the southern parts of Scandinavia, and looking back towards the British Isles, some very blustery winds there moving in from the west or the southwest, predominantly across many parts. This is the way the day is going to shape up, starting off with some decent uh, sunny weather across the eastern side of Scotland through the northeast of England, coming down through Yorkshire and Lincolnshire as well. But a line of showers will take a while to get away from East Anglia and down through the southeast of England. Some of those showers really quite heavy, possibly the odd rumble of thunder as well if you're unlucky. But uh, the heaviest of the showers now about it will be found across the northern and western parts of Scotland, through the western side of Northern Ireland, through western and central Wales, and down into the west country yet again. As you move into the afternoon, you may well find that some of those showers just begin to filter down through the Cheshire Gap into the northern part of the Midlands, perhaps working their way into the central part of Scotland as well. And all the while, you will notice that we keep that idea of some very windy weather still going, not um, by any means on the sort of scale that we saw within the past 24 hours, but even again those gusts might be getting on towards gale force, pushing those showers in along the channel areas there in towards the central parts of Wales into the northwest of England. Certainly the driest of the weather we found on the eastern side of both Scotland and England. Temperatures, well, it will still feel pretty cool given the strength of the wind. We're looking at 12 or 13 degrees across central and southern parts of England, more like 9 to 10 degrees or so across much of Northern Ireland through central and northern Scotland. You'll notice they're way up to the Northern Isles as well, around about 10 degrees or so with quite a blustery wind. Now, the racing really took a hammering through Monday, as did many other facets of life. It looks as though Warwick is going to go ahead. Exeter is still subject to an early inspection, and uh, I'm afraid the meetings at Catterick and Newmarket have still fallen foul of the weather and have already been abandoned. If you are off to either of those meetings, providing that Exeter does go ahead, it looks as though the winds there will keep it fairly cool, 12 degrees or so, and plenty of blustery showers. A similar sort of story for the start of Wednesday, but do keep an eye on this particular feature. It looks as though it's going to run across the central and southern parts of the British Isles and off towards the North Sea. So after that bright but blustery start again, the cloud, wind and rain spilling in from the southwest, and it looks as though we may well find some very strong winds and a lot of wet weather creeping into the southeastern corner of the British Isles. There you see the chart giving a very unsettled look to the day on Thursday. <laughs> Beyond the facial expressions, Hard Talk reveals the person behind the persona. I feel angry with Ken. Hard Talk next on BBC News 24. From one minute to the next, anything can happen. To keep you up to the minute, BBC News 24 brings you the latest headlines every 15 minutes, 24 hours a day. Continuous news coverage as it happens on BBC News 24. Searching for their fathers. He left us. First my mother, and then me. Searching for his identity. The man who had defined my life for so long was suddenly gone. Searching for forgiveness. There was a knife in the drain and board and I picked it up and I stabbed him. Powerful stories in the new series of Everyman. I have served 18 years for killing somebody and I would like another chance. Starting with Life After Murder tonight at 10.35 on BBC One. Hello, good morning. This is BBC.